two cool sharks and rays. <laughs> I had to do it. I'm Emma, this is Robbie, this is Dana, and you are joining us for a live streaming of feeding our eagle rays. Now, the reason why we chose the eagle rays today is because Sunday it was Mother's Day, wasn't it? Even in Australia, not in England. Uh, not, it was in America. Uh, you know, it wasn't where I was from. Oh, no. I still sent my mum flowers, so I'm a good girl. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to feed our eagle rays. And the reason why we're doing these lovely ladies is because we have a very special mum here called Freckle. So hopefully we'll get to show you our individual rays and tell you a little bit more about them while Dana's feeding them. So to get our rays to come and eat, we have a dive rattle demonstrated by the lovely Dana. And we shake it five times in the water. And that's a signal to the rays that, hey, guess what? It's food. Uh, we do this three times a day, plus they get an enrichment feed and a scatter feed as well. So lots of different types of feeding. So Dana, should we go ahead and start? Nice. All right, that's a signal. Uh, we're using Tom, he's one of our little babies. So this is Leia. Uh, she's one of the twins. So Freckle, she is very special because two years ago, Freckle gave birth to Annie. And then a year after that, she gave birth to twins Luca and Leia. So we'll point them out to come along. But whilst we wait for the individuals to come and get some food, Robbie is going to tell you a little bit more about them. Yeah, you are, Robbie. Go for it. Yeah, I would love to. Uh, so these are called oscillated eagle rays. And oscillated eagle rays are, I guess, a medium to large species of ray. Um, not quite the biggest, but definitely not the smallest either. Um, a bunch of the ones we have in here are adults, so a couple of the, not the baby here. So that's Leia. That's, that's one of the twins. This is Naboo. Uh, but Naboo coming up. They're all adults, and they sort of max out with a wingspan of about three meters. So pretty big, pretty meaty stingrays, but absolutely beautiful. Now, one of the ways that we can tell them all apart is the, the spots on their back. That sort of acts like a fingerprint for them, and it lets us know who is who, uh, because it's very, very important that uh, all of the animals here at Sea Life Sydney Aquarium uh, get really well taken care of, and being able to tell them apart is the best way to make sure that we are getting enough food and, and that they're getting all of the right care they need. Um, they they're different people. animals, which means they've got different personalities. Uh, and so, oh, hey, pig. Sorry, pig breathed on us. Um, <laughs> Uh, but each of these animals have very, very different personalities and are all really quite unique. And so it's really interesting to, uh, to sort of be able to work so close with them. Now, one of the things that Dana uh, and Emma are doing as they're coming up to be fed is keeping track of who's eating, just like that. Um, and they're getting a whole bunch of really, really good foods. Um, so they're getting today, they're being offered a variety of different types of food, including squid. Um, so big old pieces of squid, Benito, little which pieces is a nice for the babies. Oily fish bowl. Yeah, little pieces <laughs> for the babies as well. Uh, and then also they get slimy mackerel, get pilchards, different types of foods. Um, well, let's see, does anyone have any questions? How big do they get? How big do they get? That's a really good question. So these guys are probably a medium or largest species of stingray, uh, from wingtip to wingtip. So like that, they get about three meters is how big they'll max out at. Yeah. You'll notice when Dana's feeding them, uh, they're coming up straight rather than to the side. And that's basically for our safety as well. You'll notice Dana is wearing some fetching uh, gloves that kind of act as a shield. Uh, stingrays, uh, eagle rays, they do have barbs on them. Now, they only use them as a last resort, but to prevent any injury to us or each other, we ask that each individual ray comes up one at a time to eat and comes up straight. And that's because a really fun fact. They can actually turn their tail almost like a scorpion. Is that what you say? Uh, yeah, similar. Some species can. Um, so the, the barb on a stingray or any, any sort of type of ray is largely used as their defense. It's not used for hunting. It's used to, to protect themselves if they feel like they've been threatened. So generally, stingrays are a very, very uh, placid species. Uh, but making sure that we uh, have the right protection and are asking the rays to behave in an appropriate manner just make sure everyone stays nice and safe. Um, these guys, they do have barbs. They're not massive, but they're, uh, they're definitely present. So that's why we're, we're very, very careful. Oh, that's an excellent question. So these rays are very intelligent animals. Now, uh, that rattle that Dana shook at the beginning of the feed was um, the indicator to everyone that it's snack time or breakfast time uh, or second breakfast time, as these guys may be. Uh, may be ready for this is brunch 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 all right brunch um so that rattle oh here's freckle here's our special mum right oh, here hey, um but that rattle is what indicates to the rays that oh it's time for food and then they all know to come up and be uh, nice and polite and take one piece at a time 
go chew it up and then come on back ready for a next one. And it was really easy to teach them uh, what the rattle meant. All we did is every time they took food, we made the rattle sound and in a few sessions they learned that, oh, rattle means food. So they just associate it with food, very simple. So uh, Freckle, this is Miss Bandit who's coming over here. So she'll turn to get some food, there we go. So as I mentioned, we have uh, the three babies from Freckle. We have Annie, who's coming up to two years old. She'll be two in July. And the twins are Leia and Luca. Now, they're named after a Star Wars theme because, now I'm not a Star Wars person, so I'm, I don't want to get this wrong, but Annie is named after Anakin, Star, um, Anakin Skywalker, who didn't have a dad. That's correct. That's like correct. Darth Vader. Woo! Okay, got there. I'm very <laughs> nervous talking about Star Wars. I haven't watched one. Okay, uh, so Leia, obviously Princess Leia, and Luca, well, Luke, but she's a girl, so Luca. Do you want to tell us a bit more about Parthenogenesis? Because it's yeah. super interesting. So Annie, Luca, and Leia are very, very so Benito, special Benito, stingrays Benito, Benito, in the Benito. sense that um, their mom, um, Freckle, hasn't actually seen a male in the better part of a decade. Uh, and so that leads us to think that she's been able to sort of breed without the presence of a boy, uh, which is um, something that's a bit unusual, but also not out of the realm of possibility in the animal kingdom. She did not need a man. <laughs> she mm -mm. did not need a man. So no. uh, the idea behind that is, um, well, the majority of the time, um, and, and normally uh, animals have a, a, a mom and a dad or a male and a female, uh, in this case, um, Freckle was able to, to, to do it on her own. Uh, but because she did it on her own, because she didn't have the extra genetics from a partner, um, she was able to, uh, she's had uh, given birth to all daughters. So Annie, Luca, and Leia are all girls, uh, basically just mini versions of Freckle. How many barbs do they have? How many barbs That's do they have? Um, so these stingrays uh, grow barbs, they, they grow barbs sort of like we grow fingernails. So they're constantly growing and constantly sort of pushing out one after the other. These ones have about three at any given time. Um, so if we, uh, and the, the, those barbs aren't located on the end of a tail like that of a scorpion, but instead their barbs are actually located right at the base of their tail, right where their long tail meets their body, and, and that's where they'll, they'll be able to use um, that as their protection. So it's not like they run around ready to poke people, but instead they, um, they just have them there as protection. But there's about three of them. They're just a squeeze. I mean, Benito, right? Thank you. Okay, any other questions? Hi, Benjamin. Uh, good question. So, uh, so Annie is coming up to two years old. She'll be two, uh, I think it's the 26th of July. And Leia and Luca are coming up to a year old. Does Freckle want her baby to move out yet? Oh, look. <laughs> I mean, she hasn't told us personally, but they kind of go about doing their own thing. Uh, she's not looking after them in that sense. Uh, I don't know if she even realizes now that they're her babies. So um, in the animal world, especially in the fish world, um, the relationship between mother and baby is not the exact same as it would be for, for a mammal. So while Freckle would have put in a lot of energy and a lot of time to make sure uh, really Annie, good. Luca and Leia came out very, very healthy and ready to sort of live really long, happy lives, um, it doesn't necessarily, uh, the care doesn't necessarily extend beyond that. So Freckle's done an amazing job and the majority of her work as a mom was, uh, was finished as soon as these healthy Hello. babies came out. And, uh, and, and blessed our aquarium. And <laughs> you just blessed our aquarium. I did, yeah, they're amazing, I love, I love them. They are amazing, I love it. And actually Annie is the oldest uh, clone of an oscillated eagle ray to, uh, to be around at the moment. They normally um, don't make it that long because being part of a parthenogenic uh, process, um, they're not always the healthiest, but Annie has proved everyone wrong and is thriving. That's a really good question. So uh, eagle rays have a very diverse diet, and, and most animals, most uh, ocean animals have a very diverse diet where they're able to sort of eat opportunistically. Uh, these guys here, they love squid, they love bonita, they love different types of fish, but one of their favorite snacks is our, our crunchy mussels and prawns. Uh, and that's sort of what makes up a large part of a wild rays diet would be crustaceans. So things like, um, things like mussels and prawns and uh, crabs and crayfish, the, the occasional octopus or snail as well. Uh, so things that they can crunch on. Now, one of the things that's really interesting about these guys is, is their mouth and their teeth. And so these ladies, sorry, not guys, um, <laughs> is their, uh, their mouth and their, and their teeth. So uh, where we would think of, you know, teeth in the ocean, like a shark with big pointy teeth. In fact, these guys are opposite. They've got grinding sort of plates that sit in their mouth and they sort of 
open and close and grind their food between those those, those hard plates. Uh, and that's what makes them really capable and able to eat the hard shells of mussels and clams and, and different types of snails and, and, and crabs and etc. And it's really cool because we give them mussels in the shell uh, every day as part of their scatter feed. And when you go down in our tunnels, you can actually hear the crunching even through the glass. It's very, very cool. And they also, did you mention they shed their plates? Uh, no, I didn't. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, where people will have some baby teeth and then some adult teeth, stingrays uh, and, and sharks and, and a lot of other related cartilaginous animals Split don't have one yeah, set yeah, of yeah. teeth or two sets of teeth for life. In fact, it's sort of like a revolving yeah, door. Yeah. And so their teeth are very much like a conveyor belt where um, they're constantly growing in and pushing the front ones out. So as they dull or grind back from all the crunching of those muscle shells, there's yes, a new one ready to, to, to take its place. Cool. Uh, what we're going to do now is we fed out the food for the big ones and we've been talking about Annie, so it's probably about time we introduce you to Annie. She likes to make a bit of an entrance, being the star. Uh, so what we've been doing is uh, conditioning. Annie's a little bit shy. She doesn't like always to come up with the rest of the group. Uh, so we've been conditioning her to follow a target stick to come up and hopefully eventually she will join in the group. So I'm going to grab the stick. Dana's going to feed her. We have one of the favourites, which is Squid Head, and hopefully uh, she'll get to come up and you'll get to meet the wonderful Annie. While they do that, I'll answer a couple more questions. You've got them. Uh, what are the individual personalities you like, and what's your favourite behaviour they So they all have very different personalities. So we have, um, we have Freckle. Freckle's a little bit shy, actually. She comes across as tough, but when we, more time we spend with her, we realise she's actually pretty shy. Uh, Naboo, quite bossy, and she's big as well. And she's not, you know, shy of like barging her way through to get the food. So we've been working with Naboo quite closely to teach her manners. Uh, the little twins, Leia and Luca, they are just confident little ones. They come zooming through. They are just adorable. Uh, so they all have individual uh, personalities, uh, which actually makes our life easier when it comes to any training and conditioning because we can kind of tailor it to the individual animal. As far as behaviors go, one of probably the most amazing things about this particular species is, is just how graceful they are underwater. Um, they've got these really big wings and as they move and they glide through through their oceanarium here, they're really quite a fun thing to, to look at and really quite beautiful. That with their spots and their really long tails are uh, a sight to be seen. All right. Well, how many spots do they have? That's Robbie, count question. them. Uh, there's 527 <laughs> spots. Um, so these stingrays, uh, their spots sort of act like their fingerprints, so there's no rhyme or reason to them. Uh, they all have spots in some way. There's a couple, uh, like one in here, her name is Dark Girl. She's quite dark, doesn't have a whole lot of spots, but then there's uh, another one in here. As you can see, there's Skinny. a huge uh, variety of different yeah. patterns to them. All right, we're gonna see if we can get Miss Annie to come on over and make her appearance. Always makes me nervous when we're building up an animal and they don't show up. <laughs> She's over in the corner. She's over there. All right, hopefully she'll come and spot. So this is one of three feeds that these rays get each day. Uh, and there that's, we go. That's, that's quite a bit of feed. Oh, here comes Annie. Here comes Miss Annie. So hopefully she'll climb up the pole. There we go. Dana will lean in. There we are, Miss Annie. Woo, you've made your appearance. So that is the end of our feed. Are there any more questions before we head off? Um, are they much different from manta rays? Oh, Robbie, that's a question for you. From manta rays. Yes, they are. So uh, manta rays, aside from being very, very large, um, have these uh, different, a very, very different face structure. Not quite the same as these guys. So they're very, very different species, different, different family of stingrays. There we go. All right, we are going to leave these lovely ladies because they're going to think we're going to stand around and feed them, even though they're done for that feed. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. If you have any more questions, just pop them down in the comments section and we can answer them later on. Massive shout out to Panasonic. Thank you for giving us this camera. And also, if you do want to come and visit Annie and the whole family, keep an eye out on our socials because we are having flash sales very, very soon. So keep an eye on that. But from the whole of us, I hope you've enjoyed seeing our gorgeous eagle rays. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Stay safe.